in this video, I'm going to share with you the leading astaxanthin benefits and what this substance you know, really is. Uh, now, before I get started, down below, I'm giving away a, a free video-based guide uh, all about uh, shopping for dietary supplements uh, and using herbal medicines. Now, astaxanthin is a carotenoid, and this means that it gives like fruits and vegetables all those colorful, pretty colors that make them look uh, well, colorful. Uh, do you know why eating colorful plants is so helpful? It's because they have antioxidants. As this professor named Dan Ham Harbin at UC Berkeley, he actually created a whole term of antioxidants and the theory about how these free radicals are floating around and uh, they kind of, you know, damage our bodies. And if you, someone consumes antioxidant, it gives that free radical an electron that's seeking that calms it down and stops the damage which is helpful in just tons of ways like preventing wrinkles, um, it can stop uh, damage when it comes to organs, your skin cells, like, as well as possibly even preventing cancer maybe. Now what makes astaxanthin so so unique and a little bit different is that some people feel it's the most beneficial well antioxidant out there. According to Dr. Mercola, um, he's, a, he's a leading uh, figure when it comes to health. Uh, most antioxidants are, are not useful after they've transferred uh, their, their free electron to, to free radicals to stop them from doing damage. They're kind of, once they do that, they're not as useful. And uh, well, according to him, um, astaxanthin has this huge supply of electrons, allowing it to be you know, used for, for much longer periods of time. That's what makes it so beneficial. So this reason alone makes consuming this substance just a great, great choice. Uh, but let's kind of go deeper in the rabbit hole and, and talk about, you know, where in the heck it comes from, right? Astaxanthin comes from a microalgae um, that actually grows in the sea. And when its water supplies sort of like to rise up, the creature needs protection from full well, UV rays from the sun because the sun could be so damaging to all of us. And that's where this stuff comes in handy. It acts as sort of like a force field. Uh, so from sunlight, as well as uh, helping it with, with lack of nutrients and it helps it in that regard. Um, since this algae can use this stuff for protection from the sun, well, we can too, see? It's a connection there. There was a study in 1998 uh, at the University of Cork, Ireland, uh, where researchers discovered this, that this carotenoid uh, was 100 times stronger than better carotenoid and 1,000 times stronger than lutein you know, when it comes to UV protection. Those are some big numbers. So yep, definitely can help. Uh, this is not only prevents the skin, but guess what? Your eyes too, yes. It can definitely help prevent UV damage to your eyes as well as your skin, which is very, very helpful. Most people think of the skin as just, well, it looks nice, not having wrinkles, but the reality is your, your, sin, your, your skin is the first line of defense in your immune system, so you want it to be strong. Uh, now, when it comes to diseases that are plaguing mankind, what do you think is the number one killer in the United States? What, what disease? Yeah, think of Valentine's Day. It's a heart, right? Number one killer. And not only is it the, uh, well, it's heart disease the number one killer, but, uh, you know, blood flow that's all clogged up can cause all types of problems, too, because blood is life and your organs need blood to function. Now there's a study in Japan with 61 individuals with uh, elevated triglyceride uh, levels and triglycerides are like a fat that can clog up arteries that contribute to heart disease. Uh, participants of the study took either uh, 0, 6, 12, or 18 milligrams of astaxanthin uh, daily for three months. Now, at the end of the whole three-month uh, clinical study, researchers discovered the patients that took 12 or 18 milligrams of this astaxanthin thing experienced around 24% decline in their triglyceride levels. That's, that's pretty big. Uh, they also exper experienced a 10 to 15% increase in HDL cholesterol levels. And uh, in case you don't know, HDL cholesterol is good. You want high cho HDL cholesterol because it actually will unclog your arteries. The LDL is the bad guy. Now, um, okay. Now, if you're wondering, you know, where you can get this helpful carotenoid, uh, then you can consume algae uh, that creates it, or the sea life that actually eats it. It's like in fish and, and certain sea creators. 
Um, of course, another idea is you can take a dietary supplement. Certain omega threes actually will have astaxanthin in it, so that's a good thing to look for when you're shopping for omega three. And there, there's just when it comes to shopping for omega three supplements, there's tons of information out there. And uh, if you are interested in supplements, I, I highly, highly encourage you to check out this free video guide I created that really breaks down shopping for supplements. It goes over things like what to look for, what to avoid. It goes over things like uh, DHA and omega three, EPA, what the difference is, you know, stuff like that. Uh, it goes over you know how to shop for fish oil supplements. It goes over detoxes, herbs. It goes over your immune system, what you, what you can take to really boost it up. So a lot of really cool information, as well as uh, alternative medicine when it comes to various elements that can be very helpful to someone. It's free, and most importantly, it's fun. So why not? And you can learn more by clicking on the link uh, right below the video I made you. Anyways, uh, please leave a comment with any thoughts you have on this video as well as any other, way, any other benefits that I missed about Ask Example. Please share in the comment section. And if you did like this video, I, I really would appreciate a thumbs up. It would mean a ton to me. It would make my day. So please uh, click on the thumbs up button. And, and uh, well, I'll see you later. Talk to you later. And bye for now.